A can opener, you say. Challenge accepted. You know, I don't even know how to use this thing. I don't even know how it works. Like, how do you even open a can with this thing? But who needs opening cans when you can open a box with it? Well, at least I'm gonna try to. I don't know how to open a can with this, let alone opening a box. So don't judge, guys. Don't judge. This may be in handy. Well, that was a disaster. Oh shoot, guys, it actually worked. Look at that. Now, he did ask me to use the can opener, but he did not specify how I should use it. So, technically, I used it to take out the tape and open the box. I can't believe I just opened the box with a can opener, man. This is some unboxing skill. Whoa, this girl is huge. Now, I know for the past unboxings, we have been unboxing mature male tarantulas. I think it's about time that we unbox a pet tarantula, like a female, confirmed female tarantula. Well, there we go. This girl is massive. She's bigger than I expected, which is always awesome. Man, she is huge and gorgeous. Yeah, I see why he put rubber bands because the container lid doesn't match with this one and it's just, Popping out, how could I not mention? This is a Nandu Colorado Velocis, also known as the Brazilian, I think it's Brazilian black and white tarantula. Yeah, I think it's that's what its common name is, but I don't really follow common names, scientific names all the way. I'm gonna put this girl over here while I go and get her enclosure set up. So we'll be housing her in this enclosure over here. Oh yeah, this enclosure, this is the weirdest like I've ever experienced. I went to the pet shop earlier and I came across this enclosure and it was without a lid. And they were selling it for really cheap. I think it was like $2 or something. This is the legit Exoterra one. So I asked the shop owner like, what can you rare in a lidless, coverless enclosure? And, sh and she was like, fish. Just put a divider or something and just put fish. Well, and then I thought, I have another enclosure at home and I used that to give Penelope a hide. I don't know why I just made it black I spray painted it black like long time ago I, I have no idea why I did that so as you can see this enclosure is being used for Penelope my ball python and so far she has been loving it she she's in there all day and every day and yeah she's just chilling in there when I sprayed this enclosure black I also remember that I sprayed the lid black and then when I made the entrance hole for Penelope to go in and out I remember that I sprayed the lid black as well and I just kept it aside. So I bought this enclosure since it was really cheap and since I've been using that height for Penelope, well that enclosure as a height for Penelope, I decided to buy this enclosure, the lidless enclosure and I don't know, try the lid that was previously used for Penelope's hide and it worked perfectly. So in the end this lid came to good use and this enclosure, I got it for super cheap, so yep, win-win situation. Guess it was all meant to be, but anyways, let's continue what we're here to do. So this enclosure, like I mentioned, filled it up with coconut fiber, about that much. I don't want to fill too much because the coconut fiber will just spill out, but that will be enough for her to burrow a little bit. And then we'll be using this hide over here. I, I have no idea why I sprayed it black as well. This is the Exoterra one. and. I seem to like spraying stuff black last time. I have no idea. Just go buy black paint and just start to spray everything. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm just a weird kid. So we're gonna put it in like this at an angle and then just grab some substrate and just cover it something like this. Then we have the Exoterra Forest Moss, which I'll be just sprinkling in for some, I don't know, texture, I guess, or details or whatever you want to call it. These things also help maintain humidity. Well, I don't really need that because the humidity here is crazy high but I don't know just gives the enclosure a little bit of character yeah that's the word I've been looking for character gives a little bit more character so it doesn't look too bare and boring or plain um, yeah I'm really bad with words <laughs> so I must say that looks pretty decent I don't know you guys probably have way better looking enclosures but for me I'm a simple guy I just do whatever works now we're gonna get the tea and yeah, let's put her in. This enclosure will be plenty big for her. I think she's about 
a good six inches. Ready to breed, so I'm gonna call my friend and tell him to go find a mature male. Let's go. Now this is a new world, so I'm not too worried apart from her urticating hairs. That will not be fun. Let's take a good look at her. We'll get a better look at her later when she spreads her legs. Now I hope she doesn't bolt. I've got my permanent marker thing over here. Look at that butt. Big fat butt. Come on girl. Super stubborn. Okay, I'll put you like this. Maybe you'll come down now. Come on, big fat butt. Move your big fat butt. She is definitely not in a happy mood, I can tell. Because she is stridulating her fangs. I don't know if you guys heard that, but she just went with her fangs. Let's go. And there she goes. Look at the size of that butt. It's so round. The spinnerets as well, they're thick. Look at that, guys. It's crazy. This girl, what have you been eating? Very, very rustic looking tarantula. Looks so cool. I got this girl at a bargain. I'm not gonna mention the price. I got it from a friend of mine. And she is looking gorgeous, like top. Especially a butt, guys. I mean, look at that. I She's going on a diet. I'm not gonna feed her because her butt is like, yeah, I'll stop shaming her butt, but. <laughs> Booty, 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 booty rocking everywhere. I just can't accept the fact how big her butt is. Okay, I'll stop. I'll, I'll stop. I'll stop now. I'm sorry. Don't be mad. Don't kill me when I want to feed or change your water. All right. I will not stress you anymore. So that will be it for this video, guys. If you liked it, be sure to thumbs it up. If you didn't like it, if you didn't, if you did, if you didn't, yeah. Uh, what's wrong with my English? If you didn't like it, you're also free to thumbs it down now if you're new to this channel. And if you like what you just watched, be sure to subscribe, turn on that post notification bell so you will get notified whenever I post a new video. If you'd like to support through Patreon, there's a link in the description below together with the social media links, the Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. So feel free to go check those out. Thank you guys so much for watching once again and I will see you in the next video.